welcome back to the Barbie challenge. I have just been grinding away, trying to get these girls to the top of their careers, which is so much harder than I expected it to be. I'm not gonna lie, like this is a really hard part of the challenge. So we have Vigilance, who is level eight still, because we haven't gotten a charisma up. We have the lovely Dream, who I've really been working hard. She's level seven. Cheerful just got to choose between the two options for astronaut. She's a space ranger, level eight. She's catching up. And you know who else is catching up? Charity. She's also level eight. So we have three of the girls at level eight. Dream is trailing at level nine or level seven, but that's a really hard career, the doctor thing. So I have to go with her every single time. Also, I hope you guys can hear me okay. I had to move my microphone and. Yeah, I hope you can hear me. We will see. Ben is just hanging out in the pool. You do not need coffee. You need sleep, child. I'm about ready to delete the coffee machine because their sleep habits are atrocious. Just like. Yeah, she's already going to sleep. Good. All y'all get into bed. Barbie continues to be her superstar self. We do have a maid now because it would, keeping the house clean was like a lot for me. I don't know why she's such a fat. Oh, because it's cold. Well, if it's cold, guess what? Set the thermostat to warmer, you weirdo. Maybe don't swim in the pool. Oh no, Barbara! Don't don't ever find Palette, you pouty child. No. <sighs> That's the worst. Why are you not asleep? I don't care if you want to shower. Sleep. Vigilance. Go to bed. All right, Dream is gonna go to the bathroom. Cheerful and Charity are out. Oh my gosh. Charity, go to the bathroom real quick. Real quick. She might not make it. I'm gonna have her drink an energy replacement. Because she's starving. Daughter alone. Just like Ben, get out, mom. Gosh. Why are you drinking your thing? I don't care if you wash your hands. Drink the thing. Drink the thing. Thank you. Get some leftovers. Vigilance, why are you playing? I don't care if you smell like a foot. You need to sleep. Take a shower. Eat something and then I'll throw you to bed. Uh, ben, you could be streaming and getting followers. You need a lot of followers right now. And you don't have nearly enough. Barbara, do you have a gig? Yeah, I just let Barbara do whatever the heck she feels like doing these days. I don't have much control over. Well, I do have control, but like, I just kind of don't care. She can do whatever she wants. She is an icon, and she deserves it. Why are you not talking to your mom while you're watching this so you can up your social? Huh? Huh? Come on, Charity. Get it together. I'm gonna update your social media status. How about 
to hug your mom. Compliment her style. She is a stylish lady. You're a heartfelt compliment. Vigilance, why are you crying? Oh, because you need to go to bed. Is anybody shocked by this development of Vigilance refusing to go to bed? Not I. Not I. Alright, kiddo. We've got enough now. You need to boost your writing skill. Well, let's go boost your painting skill first. Since ben is a little busy. Let's do a pop art painting. Cheerful, what do you- what- Go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom, no one's stopping you. We're gonna buy a second computer setup because it's necessary. Also, I'm gonna throw some flooring down. We've got the money, I'm just lazy. Plus, how I decorate the house is largely going to depend on who wins. Because I think they all have very different styles. So once Barbara is no longer our heir, hey, we're going to decorate the house in the style of whatever girl wins. hope it's someone who will like this wallpaper because I do. I really need to get the footprint resource for those because I super duper like them and not being able to use them is a tragedy. Let's just throw down desk here, comfort, desk chair, I like the stickers, so it's happening. Alright, Chickadee, you need to practice your writing. She needs to be level 8. Vigilance, go to bed! Go to bed. I try not to give them those potions unless they're like dying <laughs> because it's not cheaty and it's not against the rules that I've made up in my head but you know you can talk to your mother tell her a joke about barnacles discuss local fishing spots you are not going to argue with your mother give her some medical advice like mom you're very, very buff, and it's sort of scaring the creator. That's kind of personality. She's not like super buff, but like she's definitely starting to get very toned. I hope that's not like a romantic interaction. It's, that's a rather. Okay, good. We recognize that that's her mother. It was like, oh, is her heart there? Day. Deep personal conversation. She's gonna up her social skill. Not skill, but like, she's not super thrilled with life right now. How about you go take a shower, child? Ben, how are you? Building up those followers. She needs a hundred thousand. So many followers. 
game. Okay. Do I go on a space mission? Do I use the rocket? space? I don't know, I got a space mission. Put that on the list of things I need to Google. And I say, forge forward. Golden planet. Templating. What's wrong with you? Return me. Space rock, a dead pink whale, a common space rock. You found a whale? Alright, Carl Sims 4 guide, let's see what you got. Okay, so just explore space. I was gonna say, like, there was no explore space mission option. She can go by herself. I don't care anymore. Cool. That's all we needed to do. Cool, 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 cool. What is wrong with you? Do you need to change your game? Come on. Get it together, girly. Go talk to yourself. It's a necessary thing that you must do. she's going to get the writing skill she needs. Also, she wrote a book called Charity Case, and it sort of makes my life. Anybody even work today? Oh, she works. Early. Go to work. Go to work. No. 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 Okay, nobody else works today. Come on, Charity. I don't think Charity's gonna get a promotion today, but like, I can hope, but she doesn't have enough writing skill. Oh, she shouldn't miss work. Ben, get your butt to work! Go to work! I don't care if you smell, go to work. Thank you. Yeah, right now it's honestly anyone's game who is going to be the heir. Because they're all so close with the extra hours. Okay. Fun loving community. Oh, did that help her with her? I briefly saw something pop up. No, it wasn't one of those, though. Interesting. She is not at all interested in others' looks. Like, I feel like cheerful is asexual. I really do. Which would 
not automatically disqualify her. She could still be married. She could still adopt a kid. I just really feel like she is. Anybody else get that? Otter even. Say no thanks. She gained 5,000 followers. Yeah, see, she didn't get it. She didn't get it. Just... Just her. I just... I think she is. And I'm pretty happy about that, honestly. I don't think I've ever had an asexual sim in The Sims 4 before. I don't think I've ever shown any of my asexual sims on this channel yet. Because they it just hasn't come up. So yay. Does it automatically do their gender preference? I don't think anything does. She has any preferences either. So I might have to roll for the rest of them. Which is fine. Usually I just get a vibe from Sims. Like, Nine really struck me as a person who was very non binary from child age, essentially. So that's why they ended up being non binary in the series. Stop drinking coffee! Y'all got a problem! I know that I have a problem in real life with coffee, but y'all got a problem. Swim your bed. Go to sleep. Alright, I'm gonna cut out here and grind a lot more and hopefully this episode will finally know who our heir is. I don't know. We'll at least have some level 9s. I'll be back. Oh my gosh, guys. These guys are really, really gonna... They're, they've got their noses to the grind. They are gunning for the win. Vigilance is now a CEO. That's level 9. Dream did get a promotion. She's level 8. She's a doctor. This little one is also level 8. Cheerful. And Charity is a level 9. Makeover Miracle Worker. We're so close to picking out our air. Well, not picking out our air, actually having an air. I'm gonna go ahead and continue grinding away. I've put a lot of hours into this so far. The girls are halfway through their young adult lifespan, if that tells you anything of how long I've been playing. But I'm really, really hopeful soon that we will have our air, which means we can actually create Ken move him in, and get started on Christy, who is our Generation 3. Thankfully, she will not have to level 10 of a career. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to the Barbie challenge, and this is a monumentous, monumentous occasion. What we have hoped for for so long has finally happened. We have found our heir. But who is it? Is it the incredibly stinky vigilance? Or is the incredibly angry Charity? Charity Roberts. Charity did it! She pulled it out of the bag! Vigilance had everything going for her, except she just couldn't get that last, last charisma skill, and I was pushing her. Poor Dream got stuck with delivering a baby that no one ever showed up pregnant. And I don't know why Cheerful never got the promotions like her sisters, because she had everything already taken care of. Like, I'm pretty sure her rocket science... Yeah, it's level 7. Like, she just wasn't getting promotions. But that's okay, because Charity has done it. Charity is going to be inheriting the dream house. 
Now, I don't think Charity's particularly happy about this, because she wants to be a city native. But, in light of this new evidence, we are going to change her. Because I think we can find something similar. She does love to paint. Like, she does genuinely like to paint. Maybe she's going to switch off from being an international stylist to... I don't know. Apparently there's... Are there more levels? I don't know. I said level 10, so that was, that was what I meant. But we're going to jump out really quick because we need a Ken doll. And now that we know which of the girls has indeed won the crown, so to speak, because the, the third generation is going to be Christy. She was a, the very first black Barbie, and so I want to make sure that she is the right ethnicity. So I'm going to look into the Ken dolls line, but we're either going to adopt a baby or we're going to have first Black Ken and Charity have themselves a Christie. And who knows, maybe we'll actually finish the dream house. You don't know. Probably not the best meeting, it must be said. I just moved Ken in, just flat out because I don't trust townies to not get married to each other behind my back. And yeah, here comes Charity. <laughs> Looking a little terrifying to meet her future husband here. I tried to model him as closely as I could to the original flocked Ken doll. That was the one with the weird hair that came off in the water. Uh, yeah. So with the other girls, I am going to find them their little happily ever after and then boot them right out of the door. So for vigilance, we'll have to find her somebody. But Dream, I actually think, where is he? Ludovic. Oh, he's married. I mean, I probably shouldn't hope that his spouse will die, but we'll, we'll go on Simda. We'll, we'll find them someone. First, though, I did cheat Charity's needs just so that this meeting can get going. Ask Ken to model. I didn't know what to give him as a career because technically they were supposed to have met like on a movie set, but we've already done the movie thing. So he's a friend of the world and he's in the law career as a process server. He is outgoing, brave, and an all-rounder, which I find it funny. It's all body parts, but it's cool. He's innocent and the lover and gregarious. His other personality is loading. He's real sad about being average. That's okay. That's okay. You can be average because Charity's amazing. How about you compliment his body so that he's soft? being so sad. Ooh, he's feeling himself. She's like, oh my god, who's this dork? Is he happier now? Yes, he got a good compliment. He feels much better. Pleasant conversation. He feels like a model. <gasps> Uh oh. <gasps> he thinks she's very unattract. How dare you? What is wrong with your attractiveness here? Set preferences. So he. 
is going to like female sims, young adults, adults, and elders. Okay. We're just fixing this right up. Just make him for sure into blondes. Not selecting Vigilance or Barbara though, just in case. We'll go Clara. I can't believe he thinks she's unattractive. She is gorgeous, bro. Fundamental attractiveness traits. Is this her though, or? Um. I honestly don't know how to use this mod. Clearly. Hold on. Select preferences. Okay. Ken Carson. Feminine appearance. Okay. Oh. We like blondes. Blondes. We are here for blondes. We don't like dark hair. I think her hair is long. But I'll select medium just in case. I can't remember what color her eyes are. screw that up. So now let's see. Has that fixed? I can't believe he finds her extremely unattractive. What does she think? She really likes him. Ken? Can we ask? Attractiveness preferences. Oh, he didn't appreciate that. Ken, you're on my list. Let's smooth recovery. Why is he uncomfortable? No. 
this meeting is already going terrible without you starving every two seconds. I am kind of getting anti-Ken. We might have to... We can't really remove a pool ladder on him anymore, can we? She made him feel good, and then he immediately was a jerk. He's so rude! Comment down below if you think that Charity is way too good for Ken. I think she might be. Get to know him. Discuss some color theory. Discuss fashion. Ask about his day. He did just move into the house. What are... Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Didn't you just say that she is very unattractive and you don't like her and you're so mean to her and now you are woohooing in her mother's closet? You haven't even kissed. Uh, and that was the try for baby. Honestly, you two? Honestly. These are the things. Did it work? She might be too good for him, but if she's knocked up, we're stuck with him. We also will have to adopt Christy sooner rather than later. I can't. I, I can't even with this man. What? I, You can't see my face right now, but what is wrong with these two? What is wrong with them? Don't tell me you're trying again, because I will lose my mind. I will literally lose my mind, like, I already cannot. Please don't be eating for two. Oh! Apparently Charity is like, uh, excuse you, I'm gorgeous, you don't get any say in this. <laughs> She's like, I want a piece of that, I don't know what to do about these people. I mean, now we kind of have to keep them together-ish, right? Let's work on his end to her since she's like, do not criticize her. I can't. This man. This man. Please tell me her parents. Okay. I was like, please tell me they aren't woohooing now. He is the innocent lover and lover. Yeah. Yeah. Or wait, no, I think that was her. No, she's Everman Artist. Is he Innocent Lover? Really? And the provider. Well, you're going to provide now, bro. How dare you knock up our sweet baby Charity and then not even like her? How dare you? How very dare. Confirmation? For what? Hey, Charity, you want kids? Sure hope so. Why do you want to chat to Dream? No. She's feeling passionate. All he feels is confident.
this man. I'm too trusting. Uh, no you're not. I kinda don't like Ken. It must be said. Like, Ken might need to have an accident. Would you at least kiss her since she didn't even get a first kiss or anything? What is that? I mean, they're at least getting along now. She was a jewel from the beginning because we love charity and we stand, but he was not. I still can't believe that that's what happened. We can't even ask her to be like our girlfriend. him. He's a dog. Ken, you're a dog. I mean, oh yeah, show off your muscles. I should have made you a lifeguard. I thought about it because the original Ken was like, honestly, yeah, we might make him a lifeguard because now I don't like him. Yeah, he's going to be a lifeguard. Not even joking. This is what you get, Ken, for being a douche. You're now a lifeguard. Good job. Yeah, now he doesn't get to be a lawyer. How do you feel about that? I hope you feel horrible. What are you doing, Charity? Oh my god, she's already got pregnancy suffering. Go have some flapjacks. I have a feeling that none of her sisters are going to like him. As they shouldn't because he is trash. Come here, trash man. I love it. Our first male sim really introduced to the family. And he's garbage. We'll eat a BLT. But on the bright side, Cheerful is going to hate him. I think. In fact, I think Dream will hate him too. And vigilant. I think everybody's gonna just hate his guts. I can't believe she got knocked up, which means we need to like, like ASAP get Christy into the family because I wanted her to be the oldest and to have him have like Skipper and some of the other ones like as their younger kids. But since Charity was adopted, she would be interested in adopting children. God. Yeah, look at this. He's so garbage. Ken, you're garbage. Did you say something awkward? Talk about open mindedness. I don't even know what he doesn't like about her. Everything about her is cute and adorable. Good sir. I love that I'm just forcing him to be nice and I forced him to have gross food. I don't even feel bad about that either. Because you did the deed and now you gotta face the consequences, bro. The fact that the consequences are our gorgeous baby charity, you should be thrilled. Her eyelashes are amazing. <sighs> Look at him! He's so whiny. I want Dream to be mean to him. It's 
insult him. Like, you're just a lifeguard. Charity, what are you doing? Watching a western, apparently. But you can go swim. You like to swim. Go swim some laps while your family absolutely demolishes your lifeguard boyfriend. Yeah, he is trash. Give bad medical advice. Let's be mean to him. Also, since he knocked up her sister, I do feel like she would yell at him. She's like, seriously? You knocked up my sister. You knocked up my sister. He's like, uh, kind of. Please don't tell me you're attracted to Dream. Oh my gosh. Thinks vigilance is basic. Charity is very unattractive. And Dream is a trap. Well, Dream is not having you. You can crush that Dream because she is not here for you. She might go be a homewrecker, but she is not here for you. I'm gonna have to make all the girls probably people to marry. I'm really unhappy about this development. Can you tell? I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Let me know <laughs> what you think of what has just occurred. Do you think that we should keep Ken and Charity together or should Charity be doing this on her own? It's like, they got the money. It's not like they need it. But the goal was always to have her marry Ken and live in the dream house. Maybe we can have her marry Ken and live in the dream house and then he could be trash and we can just be mean to him all the time. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you think we should adopt Christy right away or if Christy can, can be younger than the little sprog that this one is carrying now. I definitely want to hear your thoughts and opinions and thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Definitely leave any and all comments down below, and I will see you in the next one.